The carnage in the aviation sector in the last year and a half is unlike anything we've seen before. Even in a good year, the finances of most airlines are precariously placed like a house of cards. A couple of bad business decisions can sometimes start a chain of events that can lead to complete shutdowns. While restructuring will allow some airlines to get back on their feet, sometimes carriers just can't survive the onslaught. Let's take a look at what happens when an airline ceases operations. Sometimes shutting down operations can mean buying more time to restructure finances. If an airline has adequate assets, it can develop a plan to repay creditors in an orderly manner. A carrier can also use this time to redesign operational strategies to get itself out of trouble. This might include fleet reductions, mergers, and workforce optimizations, which sadly means layoffs. As a recent example, Virgin Australia went into voluntary administration in April 2020. With some changes in management and investment from Bain Capital, it's now showing signs of recovery. Norwegian's dramatic restructuring is another good case study of an airline that has made tough decisions to stay afloat. Unfortunately, not every airline can be saved. While such deterioration doesn't happen overnight, many airlines have faced sudden closures due to repeated non-payment of fixed costs and never recover from them. Compulsory liquidation is almost always the outcome in such cases. Thomas Cook Airlines and Kingfisher Airlines are a couple of examples that ceased operations permanently. Once it's clear that an airline can't be recovered, all bets are off and creditors start closing in to recover what is owed to them. Of course, everything goes through a legal procedure and paperwork. One of the first things that usually happens is that all its assets are frozen, including aircraft. This means that the airline often can't help in repatriating its own stranded passengers. During insolvency, an airline is deconstructed and its assets are evaluated. In the case of India's jet airways, lenders refuse to give more money to keep the airline afloat. At the same time, vendors asked for payments before services, and airplanes were repossessed by lessers, sometimes just hours before scheduled departure. Italy's Ernest Airlines met the same fate, and COVID-19 squashed any chances of recovery. Airplanes will sometimes be held by airports to which the airline owes money. If they are leased, they will usually go back to lessers. If owned, they will be added to the airline's assets to be sold off and the proceeds distributed to creditors. Other assets can include slots at important airports, spare parts, tools, loyalty programs, and even intellectual property such as branding and uniforms. All these items can have value to other aerospace companies and can raise money to add to the pot to pay back creditors. However, there's often not enough to pay back all those creditors. Unsurprisingly, employees almost always take the brunt of such closures. Most employees are often left to fend for themselves after receiving some compensation. This became even trickier during the pandemic as airlines across the board started laying off crew who had nowhere else to go. Obviously, passengers are also victims when an airline ceases operations. When Thomas Cook declared bankruptcy in 2019, thousands of passengers suddenly found themselves stranded in foreign locations with no immediate way to get back home. Passengers can apply to have their cancelled flights refunded, but this can be a lengthy process. Thus, they might just join a long list of creditors to the airline and will likely be far down on the repayment list after airports, fuel suppliers, lessers, and more. Have you ever been the customer of an airline that suddenly ceased operations? Share what happened to your travel plans by leaving a comment below. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.